Hi friends, welcome to Aisha's DIY. This is a L Beats collaboration video. I uh, placed an order with L Beats and uh, they approached me. I did an unboxing tutorial of showing what all the goodies that um, I got from them. And this is one of the beads. These are very huge. I would say, let me, let me, let me, let me. It's more than 12 millimeter, 20 millimeter. See this? This is humongous, right? Huge bead. Let me measure it. It's one and a quarter inch across, right? So it's a huge bead and I really wanted to do a necklace with this. I have some crimp tubes here. You can also use crimp beads if you want. I would want rather a bigger like two millimeter crimp rather than a small crimp. So keep that in mind. I also I need um, some beading wire. This is not a branded one. This one is probably 0.38 millimeter size. Um, and then you need a mix of seed beads. I took this mix. Okay, I don't know where I got this from, but I took this mix. These are Lavano seed beads, by the way. And um, also, I am going to um, design this pendant part first, like this. And then, I'm going to go ahead and add, think about adding a chain or a beaded component for the back of our necklace. So, let's get this started. So, first of all, we can just cut this wire up. Right. We need at least three to some have bigger holes. Let me see if they have bigger holes or not. So we need one more. So totally we need seven beads. Okay just make a knot here and then let the strand be on the side so we have seven beads right here okay um, we chose a bead which has rather a big hole this one seems to have a big hole and this one this one also has a bigger hole okay we compare these So this one seems to have the bigger hole. So I will use these three on for the side and this for the center. Okay. Now take your ruler. So take wire. So I am going to take about say. Um. Twelve inch of wire actually speaking we need these plus this let me see yeah 14 inches of wire gonna cut this off with my wire cutters okay then I'm gonna take about say mm, six four or five measures of this okay I just put a tape in so that it doesn't go overboard so I'm just going to remove a bunch of them from this tape because we are going to use a lot. That's why to be economical I didn't use the branded ones. Hold it like that. Cut it right here. Keep that down. 
so about say soft flex or so you can use medium okay that's that take out more there is three already you can do six or five okay it's totally up to you the pattern can be done with five six four doesn't matter I'm gonna stick with five okay take all your wires beading wire get everything straight okay I'm gonna use the bigger crimps in my stash take it and pop one bigger crimp right there on top of all the coats you can just leave say about an inch or lesser than an inch three fourth of an inch whichever you want the distance so I'm just going to leave an inch make sure everything is on the same place see that that's a big size crimp um, and then what you are going to do here is um, take your crimping pliers and then go ahead use the second divot which is closer to the inside part of the plier and just use that on this okay then go ahead and take the bigger part of the pliers the outer part of the pliers and do that now go around now that's stiff and that's not gonna move anywhere now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna separate two wires and I have three more okay take it and put it through the bead actually it can accommodate more so I'm gonna put three strands inside okay see this how intertwined these are so just don't make sure just make sure that it is not that bring that all the way there and see how I did that one one wire on the side one wire on the top and one wire on the bottom three wires in the middle just bring everything together like this this is what you should have so far just like so okay now take all of these again put a crimp make sure your crimp bead or crimp tube goes through all the wires possible I mean it should go through all the wires if not make sure it does bring it all the way down just like so 
make sure it's right next to the bead it's sandwiched between the bead just like so you can use your crimping pliers to flatten the scrimp out okay because we are going to separate this on either side so um, I'm gonna just use three wires on one side and three wires on the other side major change I did from our sample that I did right I cut a little two inch less and also we we took five strands in this right I took six strands I need to take six strands um, but I forgot so I did again another with six different strands 12 inch each okay after at this point of time separate three strands on one side and three strands on another side i could have done with the five strand but i just didn't want to so three strands on one side and three strands on the other side and then i just pop in one more of this big spacer bead big uh, disc shaped bead okay so just pop in one of those and make sure I'm going to have one in the center, one in the back, and one in the middle. Just like so. Okay. And then I'm going to have one more there. But before that, I was thinking I should add some kind of a spacer bead. Um, even though it's going to be covered, if you want, you can add a spacer bead. But if you want the wire to be shown that's good as well then you don't need a spacer bead let me show you guys with the spacer bead also how it looks and without the spacer bead how it looks let me just pop a big spacer bead right here and then separate this take the center strand pop in our disc bead take the outer strand and put one strand on the back one strand on the front see how it looks it changes the look right so I like the spacer bead let that be there so now what I do is I switch to a smaller crimp tube I was using size 2 so now I will use size 1 you need quite a lot of crimp tubes for this project so just be aware of that and then take these three strands and put a crimp on top of all the three strands you can do it it will go through bring everything back together just like so don't squish it let it be peacefully sitting right there and just go ahead and flat crimp it you can also use your crimping pliers to do it but anyways this is going to be covered by mm, seed beads so you don't have to worry about it so then next take one more bead if you want you can add a spacer bead but I don't feel a need for it so I just add this in one of the wire and then hold the rest of the wire one on top and one on the bottom as you can see this is how it looks then take your cords and then add one more crimp tube on top of everything on all three cords bring that down all the way down right here okay so see how I am 
changing it to the side to flatten my crimp because that's how I want it to be crimped if you flatten it mm, right here then you will see all the three strands individually so that's the reason I do that then take these cords and figure out which is the center doesn't have to be exact you know I need a band-aid for this cut just like so see this right 12 inches is also not needed you guys can take only 10 inches guys don't waste it right bring everything together this needs to be smooth this doesn't have to be very very tight but okay so we are done with one side now the other side take one more spacer take all three strands put it through our spacer just to bring everything together I know the spacer will not sit properly but just make sure it does just like so take one of the bead put it in one strand out of the three strands bring it down keep one on top one on the bottom and then hold it like that Take your strands, pop a spacer bead, sorry not spacer bead, crimp bead, crimp tube in my case. Bring that down, make sure everything is sitting properly, we don't want any, um, any overlaps there that sounds about say right so go ahead and flat crimp it right right there so now again separate these strands pick one in the middle add the big ass bead sorry <laughs> the big um, spacer bead And take these three strands, pop in a crimp tube, one strand on the top, one strand on the bottom, just like so. Bring all the way down. Go ahead and crimp it. Right. And then again, say, take a strand, pop the last bead in. You can do this like a more number of beads if you want to, but um, this is more than enough, in my opinion. Just align everything properly and then uh, take my crimp tube and pop it on top of everything and go ahead and flat crimp it right there so you can pretty much add beads here and then finish it off all three strands together so that will be a beautiful necklace as well but I'll show you guys a little bit more so I have to take some lemon of seed beads these mix I'll be back I'm gonna take this 26 gauge or 28 gauge I don't know which gauge it is I have very few left I'm taking the same blue color you can take the regular silver color uh, whichever um, wire you have available in your stash 
So. Right there. You can just pop this wire. Right. Through this hole. From the bottom to the top. See this wire coming out that side. Just want that to happen. Okay. Just leave about say two feet of a wire or so. I mean two feet is a little bit more of a kill but just let it go so you want this much and you have the seed bead first of all take this wire and take these two strands here and just wrap it around the top a couple of times okay you're just anchoring that wire right there now take your mix it's uh, as I said you can do it random or you can do it intentionally colors I just do random whites and pinks right load a lot of seed beads you can also use 15 of seed beads if you want to since you are using 26 or 28 gauge it should be totally fine you can also use 24 gauge wire if you want but 26 is more than enough does the job very well so you don't need um, But as you wish, if you want, you can do so. So take these seed beads. That's more than enough, in my opinion. So what I do is, sorry, I bumped the camera. Take this and wrap it around our necklace right here. See how I, I am holding the beads? Once you have at least three wraps, then you are good to go. So just move these beads on the side and then take this wire and I want it to be put through the uh, spacer. I can see that but I'm not able to access it so here we go right make sure Let me just take this off and do it one take more it time. Take it off from the spacer bead. And I'm just going to do it one more time. Hopefully I don't stress my wire so much. So if you work hard on your wire, then it's a little bit difficult to work with. So here we go. It came through this. But 
it's going through the big bead too but I want a really big chunk to go through so I am just taking it inside here and then going to take my wire straighten my wire out and a little bit more too because it's all curly over there and then I put it in through the big bead that went smoothly inside now we will not have any problem once we start uh, I mean once we are done with the our spacer bead that should not be a problem now we have these for some reason this is twisting I don't know why maybe this is where it is so here we go again so again load some space piece seed beads on your wire and do a couple of wraps here move on here so that's what we are going to do this hot pink with blue I really like it the gray also I really like it and then of course the blue we can add you don't have to add a mix of seed beads you can add the same seed beads if you want whichever you color you prefer the for the how light blue you can do um, white cream creamy white you can do black you can do gray you can do purple or just pinks it's totally up to you I think that's more than enough for me to go over so I'm just holding it if if I can tell you guys clearly holding the seed beads so that it doesn't go all over this space at the same time guiding it so that I can make perfect circles around not haphazard once right once I'm happy with my wrap I remove the rest of the seed beads that I added and then take this wire and go through go through that big bead there we go now I am ready to add the next set of beads You can use this uh, technique to do bracelets, to do less smaller beads, like um, uh, smaller disc shaped beads for bracelets. And um, you can work it that way. I will also come up with a bracelet project sooner. So you can have this as a pile and then just add it as well however you can it's totally up to you you can just run your uh, wire through it as if you're running a needle I think that should be good enough seed beads right there okay take it and as I said just guide your wire around this part and once you're happy with the wrap see there is a gap so I don't want that gap to be shown so I guide my wire a little bit better once I have three or four wraps and I'm good to go through that wire I'll take this pink off and push all the beads in the back 
take it and one final time go through the topmost spacer bead or disc shaped how light turquoise be yeah it's a, it's getting stuck just be gentle with it one last time and it should be done there we go now take this wire and you can just wrap it around this and then a couple of times and then you can snip it off with your wire cutters if you have a small tail go ahead and tuck it in this is how it looks it looks pretty in my opinion um, the color combination pops this is very pretty so I need to do here so for this side what I will do is I'll start from the end and go to the middle okay so what I'm gonna do here is take um, actually wrap this wire couple of times here right because it's in the front make sure the coils are nice and neat and once you're done cut it from the back okay take this and tuck that tail in right there so now what I do is say a feet or so I need right so I take this wire put it through this bead right here okay so we need two wraps alone so I don't need much maybe 10 inches or so of wire is good enough so now I start loading beads so I'm just gonna make sure I have a variety not just gray and pink but some blues as well let's see take your beads I'll start with the pink or gray whichever I can get my hands on to so you can also make a mix if you have some leftover beads like from a project or so if you have a bead soup of lavender seed beads save those you can use in projects like this and it will add a really nice touch to your project I really bet on that let me count the beads this time three six nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen 16, 17, 18, and 19, 20. So 20 beads or so, and I have say about say 10 to 12 inches of wire because I don't want it less. I want it to come, I want it to wrap here, and I want to come all the way here and wrap it. So take this, as I said, hold it after your. A seed bead with your finger pinch it and don't pinch it right next to it it will be very stiff just leave a little bit of a gap and and come over here so the twist needs to be on the top because we are coming from the back end right so it needs to be on the top so push that on the top and then go from there okay. 
you can also take a clamp or so and put it right here so that everything is in shape and it's not loose anymore nice and tight for you don't overlap the coils needs to be consistent it doesn't have to be consistent I really like it to be a little bit more consistent I would say it doesn't have to be but I really like it that way so just three more wraps and I still have a lot of gaps so what I'm doing is just removing this and making sure there is a not a lot of wire showing rather I want the bead to be showing There we go. Now I will take this and put the wire inside this bead. Pull that through. Now that's secure. And again I will finish this and then come so now my wire is coming out of here so what I do is I take this put it on the side and take this wire and nicely wrap a couple of wraps around this and snip that off tuck that tain in let me just trim off a little bit more and then tuck that tail in because we don't want it to be poking so here take the stopper off The wire is a little bit tangled but still in the spool. I really like to work with the spool. I don't like to not work with the spool. Right there. And take this off. Nicely tighten this up. And then just do a couple of wraps. and then snip it off then tuck that tail in right see our necklace it's very pretty and it is using lbeads.com um, beads this big disc shaped beads this is a pendant here you can actually loop it around and do a crimp and then you can you know basically add um, a wire through it and then add beads or you can just add beads because if you can measure this it's almost say let me see it's almost eight inches here so you can actually have um, beads here and then finish it off so what I'm going to do is I am just going to add seed beads all three seed beads uh, not all three are mixed like this into this um, strands and then finish it off that way so I'll add more beads and come my back friends, I finished this side of my necklace and it's turned out pretty so I use these 4mm turquoise howlites uh, beads 
these are regular round beads it has rather big hole I also added this uh, spacer bead this is similar to the one that I used here but a little bit longer so that it covers our crimp right there right so it just covers our crimp and then I added this bead and then what I did was there is three strands right so I separate these three strands and add beads to it so the number of beads that I added in each strand is seven beads seven eleven or eight beads you can add any number of beads you want you can just totally add one bead here and add the all in all strands you can add only seed beads for quite a long um, length so that's three five six seven seven beads here and I did it loosely as you can see the wire is still visible but here also we have exposed the wire so that's the whole intention in this project so I'm not worried about that if you guys are worried about it then you can um, choose not to do this four five six and seven you can as well um, you know do cut these wires and finish it off directly and then bead string or add chain to it and add a lobster claw at the end so there's a lot of possibility that you can do two three four five six come on six and seven so add these beads so all these three strands come and then take another uh, how light four millimeter bead and add it on top of all three strands together and I'm not going tight so I'm leaving a little bit of gap as you can see so that way it won't be a very tight affair so I continue doing this and I will come back when I'm done with it and then I'll show you guys how I finished this hi friends welcome back I want to show you guys uh, this how I finished all these three strands how I did it here if you can see you can see only one loop right here so I'm going to tell you guys how to do that so first of all take a small crimp a tube or a bead doesn't matter and feed all the three cords through it okay and then pull this down to our work so this pattern that I have formed here the wire is showing if you can see it's very loose it's not tight and I have enough space between these beads I want this to be freely um, flowing right there like staying right there and the wire is showing because we have the wire showing throughout the necklace so I want to bring this here too so if you don't like this pattern you can actually thread in a bigger bead like for example this um, bead which has a big hole this four millimeter turquoise how light bead you can continue the same uh, but I just want to bring the color here also it looks very pretty so I added seven beads in each strands as you guys know and then I added this bead on all three strands and then did four of these segments and that was enough for me so I take one of the strands doesn't matter which one it is okay take those strands and put it inside just one strand inside back into our crimp tube I'm using a crimp tube you can use a crimp bead as well whatever works for you whatever you have available so hold these two strands down just like so then bring this one strand through that bead right there just make space maybe it's a tight fit but we can do it maybe I used a bigger crumb seems like a very tight fit we will see yeah it went through so I want it to come through the how light turquoise speed so that I can pull it just like so okay so then I 
pull this to form a small loop and this one nice and I just don't want it to be very stiff either so I leave that enough space and then pull this just a bit more so as to have a nice loop right here this loop seems to be very good now we are not considering the other two strands just that one strand and I'm going to go ahead and crimp that strand all of the strands three strands going on one way and one strand coming back so four totally there is four strands inside this crimp crimp it nice and tight I just flat crimped it if you want you can use the crimping pliers but I don't think so for this uh, project that is applicable uh, it's very very tough to do it if you I mean it's not tough per se you can do that also but I prefer to make this simple and now I'm just going to snip off these two cords I need to buy a different cutter there we go so can you see the small one in this there is the finish is very neat I, you cannot even see it let me try with another wire cutters that I have here and see if I can get a close cut if not that's okay I don't want you guys to cut the main thing that's okay so you can just bend this to the side and then snip it off there we go this is much better and now you can go ahead and snip this one off too that's it now you can add your um, jump ring to it and the lobster claw and finish it off or you can add any clasp of your choice so I'm actually I finished this but I had to add a lobster claw clasp and a jump ring uh, but I'm 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 thinking of adding um, um, what to say like a chain or so in the back So I have these big lobster claw clasp. I think I don't know where I bought it from. Uh, I think it's BB Craft maybe. I really like these boxes. It's um, comfortable to put stuff inside. And then a couple of jump rings. You can also put jump rings or, or you can put um, like chain in the back but in the front i had a cool idea to add just some beads and put cr crimp in the bottom let me just zoom here so here are the six strands right so i just added two beads in each strand and then put a, um, a crimp in the end and then just flat crimped it so let me just tell you guys how i did that so all you need to do is um add two seed beads you can add a lot of seed beads if you want but i just don't want a heavy effect right there so so that's why i'm going for you know just two seed beads and then what i do is i take my crimp okay with my tweezer nose pliers you can also use your needle nose pliers and just put it in and just press it there not till the end but just a little bit more this is what I like to do it but you can put it at the end the beads like crimp beads will be nice if you crimp it um, not flat crimp and use the crimping pliers then it will turn into a bead but I really like this this uh, look of it so this is how my end looks so we have the a seed bead theme go going all over the necklace so we will attach our We will attach our chain and some lobster claw clasp. So I'm going to use this roller chain. And I'm not going to use a lot. I'm just going to use about say two, two to three inches. That's more than enough. This roller chain has something that you can open it. It's like a jump ring connected to each other.
unfold it and open it twist and open like how you would open a jump ring and then you can add the same to this loop right here and then close it when you close it I really like to use my bent nose pliers you guys all know about that and then just making sure it's completely closed so you wiggle and then tighten so there it is and this side I'm not going to add chain I'm just going to add a jump ring actually two jump rings and one at the end of the chain for this to hook on hold it right there first prep the jump ring so just go wiggle 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 and now you wiggle it open go to that end of the loop to your lobster claw and then close it shut see can you hear the click that's what we want so I'm going to add two jump rings for added security to the lobster claw just like so and there we go So somehow we will get this on top here okay first let's do this okay let's put it into the lobster cloth first and then through the loop okay there we go now it's clear oh it just came off the loop just put it back into that loop right here see how it jumps out for some reason now there we go we did two jump rings at that point now take another jump ring you can just leave it at the rollo chain but this will look more finished and um, much more bigger area to access um, it with the lobster claw clasp use your jump ring the bent nose bent part of it i really like to use that this way and we are done I hope you guys like this necklace if you do give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel don't forget to hit the bell icon for notification I do upload a couple of videos a week we get a 3% coupon code from lbeats.com uh, for their products this big shaped like disc shaped um, turquoise how light beads I got multiple strands at a very cheap price 10 strands for $2.41 plus shipping and it was an awesome deal and I made this out of that and I will leave down the description box below the link to purchase these big disc beads uh, from lbeads.com we have a 3% coupon code I am saying once again take advantage of that click on the link below and order your stuff thanks so much for watching have a good day